Geez, has it been 10 years already? Darren Brooks marveled on June 21, a decade since he first reported for work at The Bold and the Beautiful. Thanks to CBS and everyone at the show. But most of all, thank you to the man himself, executive producer slash head writer, Brad Bell for asking me to be a part of this wonderfully talented, fun group of people. And we, in turn, love Brooks and Wyatt Spencer, the wisecracking voice of reason who for too long has been banished to storyline Siberia. We think the character is still engaged to felony flow, but if he is, that would be longest engagement in the soap's history, and the rare one that didn't end in a wedding in the Forester living room. Thankfully, there are signs that Wyatt may at last be moving back toward the front burner. He weighed in on Dad Bill's mad plan to bust Sheila by having sex with her over and over again, and he's acted as a confidant to half-brother Liam during his issues with wife Hope. Our suspicion is that when the whole Hope-slash-Thomas flirtation blows up Liam's marriage, Wyatt will try to help repair the damage. In so doing, rediscovering long-forgotten feelings that he had for Hope. So by the time he put the Spencers back in one another's arms, he kinda wished that he hadn't. At that point, maybe he could reevaluate his relationship for Flo and decide that, you know, maybe he's just not that into her. In the past, Brooks has suggested that Wyatt and Hope might be worth trying again. Now that everybody has sort of grown up, maybe there's something there he said in 2022. I think that would be fun to revisit, because it was never really finished. It was never really talked about.